but now the rest of the motorsport world is catching on as well. And tonight he is closer to a Formula One drive than he's ever been. The Williams team has Dixon on their radar and want the chance to see how good he really is. The world of Formula One, glamorous, competitive and hugely expensive and for the past 20 years off limits to New Zealand drivers. Now there's an indication that could change. Yeah, just from a New Zealand point of view, what do you know about Scott Dixon? He's obviously a very uh, um, good driver and uh, he seems to make things happen around him, so uh, he's obviously very good. Top Formula One team Williams BMW have an empty seat next year after star driver Juan Pablo Montoya defected to McLaren Mercedes. Now team bosses Sir Frank Williams and Patrick Head have hinted they want to know how good Scott Dixon is testing one of their cars. Oh, it's quite possible it may happen later in the year, but I don't think uh, necessarily, automatically, it should follow the, to say that uh, um, a drive in Formula One um, will follow. Dixon won the Indy Racing League Championship last year for the Ganassi team. It's the same team Montoya raced with before joining Williams in Formula One. He's in a very good position where he is. You know, going into Formula One, especially after, you know, being in the RL, it's hard because RL is mainly over, so... No, I, you know, there's a lot of rumors you might test for Williams, I don't know, I think he'll do pretty good if he would be here. Williams has helped drivers like Nigel Mansell, Alan Prost and Damon Hill to world titles. Such a record makes a seat in the team the target for almost every driver inside and outside Formula One. So, any test would see Dixon face a massive task to prove he's the team's best option. But it's quite a big step to take somebody from outside uh, Formula One and as somebody who's not familiar to Formula One. And um, But uh, he's certainly we, we know of him and we're, um, certainly we have good interest in him. Being a Grand Prix driver remains one of sport's most elite clubs. But as yet, there's no firm details as to when or where a Scott Dixon test with Williams would take place. As with everything in the Grand Prix pit lane, any details remain a closely guarded secret. I think if you get a chance to drive a car, you got to drive the wheels of it and try to show you can do it. <laughs> you know, that's the way it works here. For now, Dixon will remain in America, racing in Phoenix in a fortnight. Andrew Potter, One News, Melbourne. Dixon banking on his talent and record in Indy cars and offer him a drive next season. Or more likely, they sign him up as a regular test driver and ease his way into that Formula One seat the following year. It's far too early to, to, uh, to judge anything like that. It's, at the end of the day, it's, a, it's a, just a test at the moment and we just need to take it sort of one test at a time. And you know, it's exciting and uh, it's definitely a big deal and, and to get that seat would be you know, out of this world, but you know, it's, it's uh, still so far away and, and hard to know, uh, you know, really if that's, that's still possible. These corporates might have been impressed, but it's the Williams bosses who can't. Paul Hobbs, One News, Castellet, France. And the great news for Dixon, his times were right up there with Ralph Schumacher's, but his big challenge will come in a couple of weeks with a full test session in Spain.